Oh, look how gross that is. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Hiller, your host, and today we're gonna be changing out an anode rod in a water heater. I'm here in my garage, and I have smelly water coming out of my garage faucet. And it smells very much like rotten eggs. One of the reasons for rotten egg smell coming out of uh, water pipes could be the anode rod. This is an anode rod. I got this anode rod from uh, Ferguson, but you can pick them up at Amazon or your local hardware store, Home Depot. I'll put a link down below to Amazon where you can go purchase one that will get rid of the rotten egg smell in your water heater. So go visit that link if you wanna go get one for yourself after watching this video. It's a sacrificial anode rod. And what it does is it sacrifices itself so that there's not a hole rusted through the tank of the water heater itself. So um, it, it, it gets deteriorated. It really, it literally gets eaten up by the water, uh, hard or soft. What happens is, is they get deteriorated and the magnesium gets released into the water and it, it makes up this bacteria compound that starts smelling very heavily of rotten eggs. That's on a magnesium one. This one is zinc aluminum. It's got a, a I think it's 10 to one ratio. Don't quote me on that. But uh, what we'll be doing today is we will be taking this anode rod out of the top of this 20 gallon water heater. You're gonna need a half inch ratchet with a one and one sixteenth socket. And then you're gonna need, of course, um, a Phillips screwdriver to take the skin off if you've got a 20 gallon also. A 40 gallon, it will actually be going through the top of this metal plate that goes on the top, okay? So you won't have to take anything apart. You'll just have to get your one and one sixteenth uh, socket and your ratchet. And you're gonna have to give it some pretty good tugs on it because it's gonna be tight. So uh, let's go ahead and start this disassembly here. And um, yeah, see what this thing looks like. Before you start doing anything on the water heater, go ahead and do me a favor and unplug it or hit the disconnect because nobody wants to get shocked. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna shut off the water valve. These, I've got just some half inch valves here. Uh, typically you're gonna see either some type of gate valve or a ball valve and you will go ahead and turn the handle off to the cold water feeding the heater and then you'll open this pop off valve right here and that's gonna relieve the pressure. And then you won't have anything coming out of here, okay? So let's go ahead and see if we can get this taken out. All right, so what I had to do is I had to go to the truck, get this pipe wrench, stick it on this top edge here and the skin, kind of sandwich it there. Got it coming off now. All right, let's see how this sucker looks. Yo! Oh, look how gross that is. Ugh. That is horrible. So all the magnesium in the water is, is making the rotten egg smell. This is calcium here. They recommend changing these things out every three to five years. So we'll get our new one. Drop it down in the hole, okay? We'll go ahead and put our finger on it. This is a wax pencil. You can use a marker, pencil, whatever you want. And then we'll get our measuring tape. So this, this sat down in the water heater, 21 inches. So what we wanna do is wanna measure from the threaded end here and we wanna be an inch or two off the bottom. So it, was, it sat down in there 21. So let's go ahead and cut it at 19. That'll give us a couple inches off the bottom. 
we will cut it right there on the mark. go all right before we put it in the hole in the water heater we're gonna go grab some bleach and drop it down in there all right so we just got our cheap Walmart brand Clorox bleach and on a 40 gallon water heater what I'll do is I will use this whole gallon but on a 20 of course what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use half and what this does is it kills the bacteria and, and it also kills that uh, sulfur smell inside the water heater. And after you put it in there, you let it sit for about an hour or so, and then let it let all the faucets in your house run, flush all that bleach out of the system. All right, so I got a funnel here. I'm gonna start pouring the bleach in. It doesn't have to be exact, just more or less. Or like they say in, in Espanol, Morales. So now, this is a Rector Seal True Blue, and I use this on the threads. I used to use Teflon tape and pipe dope. Now I've just gone to this True Blue. Man, this stuff works really good. Uh, it can be kind of messy, so just be careful. It will not come out of clothing. So don't get it in, don't get it on your clothes, don't get it in your hair. It's not peanut butter, so don't eat it. You can be, you can be kind of liberal with it, but just know that whatever it gets on, it's gonna be on there for probably at least 24 hours on your skin on your clothes like that's true blue right there from I don't know a year ago it ain't coming out Get this install whoa slipped right out of my fingers Go ahead and make sure you always get it started by hand. I just put that the socket on there and just tighten it down. That way you make sure you don't have a cross thread. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn the water back on. You always want to turn the water on slow. You turn it on real fast, you shock the system. You don't want to do that. You'll blow a pipe right apart. Water's back on. I'll go get a rag. We'll dry this up right here. Also, go ahead and plug this water heater in. We're going to let it get warm, start working. And then here in, a, in about an hour or two, we'll go ahead and open up the hot water this water heater only serves this sink, but of course, if it's a whole house water heater, you're going to have to go to every fixture, every hot water fixture, because your hose bibs aren't going to have hot water to them. But uh, lavatory, kitchen sink, toilet's not going to have hot water, so you don't have to worry about flushing it. Um, shower, lav, sinks, stuff like that. Go ahead and run them. Run them until you can Get a, a, a thing of water in your hand, smell it, and then when you don't smell that bleach smell anymore, you're good. Go ahead and shut it off and pick up your tools and call it a night. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and also drop a comment below on some future videos of what you'd like to see and who out there knew the reason behind the rotten egg smell. Because, I mean, not everybody knows that it's the anode rod that a lot of times is the culprit of the situation so uh, do me a favor and uh, drop that comment well it has been about an hour and I'm gonna go ahead and start draining the water I'm 
You just let that run. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Beard Adventures. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife and the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies.